Hi, I'm Walt with West Palm Dog, and today with Zsa, Zsa we're going to be working on sit stay and downstairs. So this is going to be more about me showing how I train this so that you can do the same. So essentially what happens is sometimes when you teach a dog down, they start thinking that down is the answer to everything, right? But she did hear me say the word down, so she's got a treat for that. So this is what I want, what I want to do. Zsa, Zsa, sit. Yes. Stay. So what I'm doing is I'm rebuilding the sit stay. Okay. And what you'll notice, more than likely, she might prove me wrong, is that if I stand here long enough, she throws the down. So I'm gonna put her right back into the sit, reaffirm that stay, wait a few seconds, then treat. So that's what happens after you know they learn the down, they're like, oh, but humans obviously too slow. I need to anticipate what they want. Uh -uh. And the anticipation answer is to just to lay down. Go to the next thing they seem to like. Good girl. Release. Very good. Joshua. Down. Yes. Now I'm going to work on the down stay. Stay. So the stays in open space like this is much harder than doing a stay on a bed, for example. The bed really helps ground them, whereas moving around in open space is far more difficult. Ah, ah, ah. Down. Thank you. Stay. Good. I'm really happy with that because my verbal correction was enough for her to think about what she did and choose the right answer. Excellent. Head release. Joshua, you did so good. You did so good. You're such a 